everybody. Are you still inside? Because it is still cold and windy and the rain is coming down off and on. There's no better way to spend a morning and afternoon than reading books and listening to books and taking tests on books. So I hope you guys are having a great day. So I have this book that's a little bit different. Um, it's called Charlie Cook's Favorite Book. It is an AR book. But it might be kind of tricky, so before you take the AR test on it, you just might want to hear the story like two times, just so you don't get tricked. Are you ready for it? It's so fun. Pay attention to the order of the things um, that are happening in the book. Follow the sequencing. That's a clue. That's going to help you right there. Follow the sequence of the book. What order do the events happen? Charlie Cook's favorite book. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cozy chair and read his favorite book. A book about a leaky pirate ship that very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest, and in it was a book. A book about a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried, Who's had our porridge? Who's been sitting on our chairs? They went into the bedroom and Baby Bear said, Look, she's in my bed, and what is more, she's got my favorite book. A book about Sir Percy Plinkington, a bold and fearless knight, who told the dragon, Wait, I'm not quite ready for the fight. You must hear this one first. And then his armor clanked and shook. He's laughing, oh he, as he read aloud a joke he found inside his favorite book. And the joke went like this. The joke was about Riona Redalot, a very well-read frog, who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a log, then jumped into the library that stood beside the brook and went, read it read it, read it, as she jumped upon a book. A book about an oak tree full of birds. Each bird had built a nest, and then they had a competition to decide which one was best. They chose an owl to judge it, and the winner was a rook, whose nest was lined with pages from his favorite book. The book was about a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small green men were in it and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, look mom what I've just seen. But mom said, hush, I'm trying to read my favorite magazine. And in the magazine, she was reading about a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep, which slowed his car right down. The king got on the phone, and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison, where he read his favorite book. A book about... A greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try to find some other kind of dish. He went into a bookshop and there he grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a large encyclopedia. An encyclopedia is a really thick book full of facts. The encyclopedia page 90 was all about the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen. A team of royal cake makers had made it for the queen. 
The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter. He also took a book. He took a book about a ghost who glided round a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up till morning, then she found a shady nook and put her head back on again to read her favorite book. Her favorite book was about a cozy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook. So isn't that kind of fun? So best of luck to you taking that AR test. It's, it's just fun to find different kinds of books. Some silly, some kind of scary, some kind of a mystery. So enjoy.